Okay, you were saying? Yes. So your race is finished. Race is finished. Amazing. Yeah. And there was a hiccup. In the um, of it, just yeah, the lady uh, hit a back tire, and uh, usually when you hit a back tire, you swerve, and she wasn't able to, to uh, bless her heart. She had to go to the hospital, oh. and uh, yeah, I'm uh, I hit her, so I'm a little bumped and bruised, a little bit of a sore uh, left side, which I already had a sore left side from my hips. Yeah, but uh, no pain, no gain. It happens in cycling. Yeah, well, and that impact when you think about it, you know, your body hitting the pavement. Um, it, it moves through you, you know, like we're solid beings, but that vector of energy has to go somewhere. And so it ricochets like a ping pong ball, um, in a pinball machine of between the bumpers, which are the sides of your muscles, the sides of your body, the container, because you know, your cells didn't fly out of you when you yeah. hit the pavement. They yeah. all just got jangled inside. Yeah. Um, and so there's a, a period of time that's helpful to sort of take to reorganize that and to also process the thing that you didn't see coming when we're you know going through life a bike race driving to the store walking through your house anything something can come in and surprise you and it interrupts your trust mechanism right it's like cool. it's like a switch that flips of like oh, i thought i was safe what just happened and your nervous system changes its resonance from rest and digest, if that's where you were, like a resting state, into fight or flight. And that is simply because you couldn't plan for something arriving in your experience. You know, it can be a baseball coming in the window, it can be a car accident, it can be something happening at work, something happening with another family member, the unexpected. There's, yeah. there's no um, set rules for what that even looks like. You could have known it was going to happen and then it shows up and it feels like the biggest shock of your life. And so when the nervous system enters that tense step state because it processes that unexpected moment as something to close down your trust mechanism. So you become hypervigilant, your body tenses and contracts and it doesn't actually allow you to reach relaxation anymore. Right. You might be able to sleep, but you might, but you won't sleep well. You might not feel rested when you wake because your whole system is going, I'm supposed to be scanning for threats. Where are they? I can't see them. Right. And you just I get stuck in that. Well, like you can feel it, right? right? Where it's like, Oh, I know what that, I remember what that felt like the time that, you know, Johnny fell off the balance beam and, and never really wanted to do it again. We really have this shutdown option. And so to be able to process fully that, hey, yeah, something was unexpected. It wasn't my fault that I couldn't predict it. And I'm going to like choose to, to trust people again, trust myself again, is a big deal and a big step that, that we don't always do. And so you in, end up potentially going into the next four years of your life with a little bit less trust, a little bit more hesitation, a little bit more tension, and you don't get the same restoration available. So what we're gonna do today in the session is really allow those areas of your body that felt the impact on the left, okay. we're gonna allow them to communicate with the right in order to really integrate wherever that vector of energy went within your system. So it basically, um, with the needles, allows that I can rest again, switch to be I flipped. I need to restore. Yeah, exactly. Um, because physically your body's doing it all, all it can and we're just basically gonna like bump up the efficiency of what's already happening. Awesome. Sound good? Yeah. Okay.
love that your mind embraced her first. Mm -hmm. But I want to make sure that you give yourself the opportunity to say what what you said to you. It's okay to be mad. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be disappointed. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to say, I wish that didn't happen. To you, I wish that didn't happen to me.